This is a short tangent about mathematician James Sterling, which was trimmed from our video about Goliath numbers and the like. I've popped it here on the extra channel, just in case you were curious. Now this is this approximation is due to a guy called James Sterling, who's a mathematician from the, uh, you know, born in the 17th century, Scottish mathematician. Quite an interesting life. Um, he came from a Jacobite family, um, which, uh, you know, so, so the Jacobites, you know, they, support, they, they supported the descendants of um, uh, the, the Scottish King James, um, and, 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 you know, so they, they were Roman Catholics as well. And, um, but of course, the Jacobites weren't in power at the time, so, so this put them on the outside a little bit. Um, when Sterling went to university, went to Oxford, and he signed up for a scholarship, and he was meant to swear an oath to the, I think it was probably the Queen at the time, Queen Anne, and he wouldn't do it. Um, they let him off, but when King George took the throne, um, they were like, you've got, to, you've got to swear this oath. And he was like, being a Jacobite, he's like, no, I'm not doing it. Um, he was even arrested and, and, and uh, appeared in court because for, for cursing King George. Eventually, he just had to get, get out of Oxford. So he ended up going to, to Venice, uh, and in Venice, you know, he did some wonderful maths, right? But, but even, even his time in Venice wasn't simple. It was like he, he ended up having to flee because, and this is so weird, he learned the secrets of the glassmakers. <laughs> so, so it's like, well, I don't know what these secrets are. So the, these glassmakers, the people who made glass in Venice, they had some secret, and he learned their secrets, and he was so convinced that they would assassinate him for knowing their secrets that he, he fled back to, to Britain. Um, you know, things didn't stay simple for him. You know, he was denied sort of professorships on the grounds that he was a Jacobite. But he did come up with this, you know, this precise formula for, for estimating factorials for, for large values of n. Maybe so, that's the secret of the glass. Well, maybe it is. Yeah, yeah. Who knows? Now I ask the question. How many people do I need there to be in the first place to guarantee that there are at least four committees for which, <laughs> to get this right, uh, there are four. Uh, there are four committees. Each pair, made out of those four committees, has the same colour. And all people appearing 